Hello friends, are you preparing for any of these exams? CHA, Custom House Agent or Customs Broker or CBLR exam, Customs Broker Licensing Regulations exam or Regulation 6 exam, all these are one and same. Names are different and if you are preparing for any of these exams, then this video is for you. Be there till the end. You will get lots of information about this exam and the coaching program for the exam. Now, this exam is going to be there in the month of March 23. And for this applications to be submitted from 18th of October till 17th of November. Eligibility criteria. Post graduation in management or accountancy or taxation or chartered accountancy or company secretary or LLM or cost accountant or MBA. So these are the eligibility qualifications. So by chance, if you are not aware of, immediately rush and submit the form before 17th of November. And if you need any help, for submission of application, then these two numbers are here. Note down these numbers, get in touch with us and we will give you full information how to submit an application, what all is required, what is required for preparation, everything will be given to you. Okay. And those who have already submitted forms, wait, I'm going to share what to do, what not to do. Okay. So first of all, giving you just the idea of syllabus for this exam. Now, this syllabus can be broadly divided in two categories, main topics and other topics. This bifurcation is not provided in the regulation. This I have done. And the reason for bifurcation is that main topics cover almost 80% of the total paper. I put the sign of plus also because more than 80% also can be there from this portion. And this is, you can say up to 20% portion can be from this person. Okay, so where your main focus should be? Your main focus certainly bound to be in this area, but you cannot miss out this category because this determines who is going to pass the exam, who does not because everybody prepares for this. But ensure that you don't miss out on this area. Okay. Now, what is mean? Customs Act. Customs Tariff Act. CBLR, Custom Broker Licensing Regulation. Now, without this regulation, this exam cannot be there. This is one of the main topics in the exam. So, this is also the part of VIVA. Then comes Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act. Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act. And this, along with this comes Exim Policy, Export-Import Policy. So, these five topics taken together constitute more than 80% of the total paper. And as you are aware of that exam is MCQ based. Therefore, every line of these topics must be read and understood. Not only read, must be understood. Customs Act itself has got more than 160 sections. Customs Tariff Act has got 13 sections. CBLR has got 21 regulations. Foreign Trade this uh, Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act, this is a smaller one. But Exim Policy has got 9 chapters. So, it is a huge volume. Prima facie, these are 5 topics. But huge volume. In others category, again, I bifurcate it in 2 parts. Category A and category B. 
इन कैटेगरी ए वी की फेमा फॉरेन एक्सचेंज मैनेजमेंट एक्ट एंड ऑल्सो जीएसटी सो दीज बोथ टॉपिक टेकन टूगेदर ऑलमोस्ट टेन परसेंट वेटेज कैन बी देयर इन द एग्जाम अप टू टेन परसेंट मे नॉट बी देयर राइट बट माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लास्ट एग्जामिनेशन सजेस्टिंग दैट फेमा एंड जीएसटी कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अप्रोक्सिमेटली टेन परसेंट नॉट नेसेसरी अदर सब्जेक्ट अदर सब्जेक्ट आर रिलेटेड टू फर्स्ट इज आईपीआर IPR topic at such you may not see but you will find copyright patent trademarks designs all these taken together those are called IPR so these are four different laws copyright act patent act trademarks act designs act so when i say IPR these are four laws environment environment protection act pollution air pollution water pollution environment pollution then narcotics narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances ndps narco narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances act then we have arms and ammunition and the list does not end some more laws are there so i'm putting the word etc okay but all these laws taken together no one thing which i have missed out that is scz that can you can also put scz act okay and some small laws are there so these are the laws about which you should know the basics okay the another law which is, which comes here that is food standards fssa food standards and safety okay so since these are only information based you have to have some basic knowledge about this and that will help you to score these remaining 10 to 15% this is up to 10% this is up to 15% okay so certainly it can be less or more and this is 80% plus so if i give a percentage for this all this taken together this can be up to 15% when i say up to 15 means it can be less than that also and this is up to 10% okay but both of these taken together will not exceed 20% so sometime you will find that oh, this is only 5% this is 15% sometimes this is 8% this is 12% some is it can be 15 and this can be 5 that combination will go on it's a matter of preparation it's a matter of practice okay so this is what the syllabus is and exam is mcq based mcqs you can do only if you have read each and every line of the syllabus thoroughly otherwise mcqs cannot be answered if it is a descriptive exam have a superficial knowledge write it and you can pass but not now this is a mcq based exam and very high standard of exam has been set very high standard of exam because this is offering you a most lucrative career also as a customs broker so examination standard is also very very high so you have to prepare thoroughly mcqs have to be done lots of practices are required lots of practice so not only understanding the reading the law understanding the law then practice of mcqs till you get complete command over the subject right now how do we do this now i'm giving you information about the exam now in the main exam there will be 150 questions into 3 marks each total is 450 marks negative marking for wrong answer so if you don't answer a question no negative marking this is minus 1 for every wrong answer correct answer certainly you get 3 now subject to this minus 1 or negative marking 
passing is 60% marks that is 270 prima facie it looks as simple but let me tell you the result is not easy for doing this for scoring 270 marks you should have practiced minimum 3000 mcqs and that too repetitively minimum that much of practice is needed and you can do the practice only after understanding the law if you prepare direct mcqs prepare for the next exam there are books available in the market those who give you a number thousands of mcqs just read those mcqs go for exam and be sure that you are appearing for the next attempt cannot prepare through mcqs read the law understand it then attempt mcq that gives you an expertise okay now what i am going to do i am going to help you is a new course covering entire syllabus i'm going to launch from 12th of december 2023 batch this is from 12th of december 2022 and it will go up to 5th of march 23 during this lectures timing will be 8 pm to 9 30 pm minimum one and a half hour it can go up to two hours right so generally it will be two hours only so this is the time i'm writing but actually this will be two hours lecture okay and let me clarify it much better if i change the timing for you we start at 7 30 up to 9 30 so sometime it may be one and a half hour but usually it will be two hours lecture total lectures that is 60 days that is monday to friday saturday is off that is for revision and sunday this will be your test whatever we have taught every week there will be a test and after 15th of january test begins daily 15th february to 15th of march every day there will be test okay and the mode of delivery this will be through zoom sessions so wherever you are in which part of the country you may be or you may be out of the country doesn't make a difference you can attend the live sessions all the sessions are interactive sessions you can discuss each and every point with me then and there in the lecture and you can always call me on one to one basis after the lecture if you have not understood any point and once it is done in the zoom every lecture is going to be recorded and it will be available for reviewing in the application for unlimited number of times till the validity of the subscription so this subscription <coughs> will be valid till 30th june 23 validity this will be till 30th june 23 so all videos will be accessible up to 30th june 23 unlimited number of times you can view them on the mobile phone you can view them on the laptop or you can attach it with a larger screen and revise it for the purpose of revision you will have an option of increasing the speed also right and daily test this is a very important daily test daily test starts from 15th january 23 onwards sorry sorry 15th february 
15th February 23 onwards till 15th of March. Usually exam is after 23 after 15th of March. So I have kept it for one full month. So roughly 30 full test will be there. And before that, the test will be partial. So partial test may have 50 questions. It may have 75 questions. It may have 100 questions. But these tests will be 150 questions each. Every day there will be one test. We will try to make you perfect in the topic, in the syllabus. Okay, now the sequence of coverage. I will start from ancillary topics. Ancillary topics means category of other laws, intellectual property rights, copyright, patent, trademarks, designs, environment, air pollution, water pollution, then food, food standards and safety as well as narcotics, drugs and substances, then GST, then FEMA. I am starting just in the reverse order. Why do, what does it happen? Because everybody prepares for the main topics. These ancillary topics are left out and these are the determining factor which decide whether somebody is going to pass or somebody is not going to clear the exam. So I am going to ensure that you read these first. And these topics will be tested again and again. So be sure that you are not missing out any of the questions in the main exam. And the matter does not end here. Once your exam is over, your result is declared, then all the candidates who pass this written exam, they are required to appear for a YY interview. This coaching program includes additional lectures for your YY also. So there will be 12 to 15 additional lectures only and only in relation to Viva. But for appearing for that Viva, you have access of all the videos till 30th of June. So Viva is supposed to be in the month of June. So I have given the last date for that. Up to 30th of June. Right. So by chance, if for some technical reason exam is delayed, then certainly I will not be able to help you because we are going by the date. Okay. So not able to help means extension cannot be granted. But I will always be available to you on one to one basis for help. And let me assure that this time there was some technical issue because of which the logger, uh, this examination got delayed. Otherwise, even during the COVID also the exam happened on time. So 99.9% .9 exam is going to be on time. So written exam that is a MCQ based exam is going to be in the month of March and interviews and viva is going to be in the month of June. And all the candidates who pass the written exam, they are eligible for VIVA and for VIVA there will be additional lectures and you don't have to spend anything for that. I am going to train you for that also. Now the last thing is that for doing this entire course, some books are required. Yes, certainly needed, but I will provide you everything in soft copy. You don't have to spend even a single rupee other than the fees payable for the entire course. Don't have to pay anything. Soft copy, you can ask me number of times, once, twice, thrice, I am ready to give you. And you are not supposed to take a printout also of everything. Because when attending the class, you will prepare the notes. I intentionally took it on the whiteboard because the examination, uh, sorry, the, my entire lecture procedure is this only. So you will prepare the notes in a notebook. And you are going to refer that notebook for the revision purpose, not the printed material. So printed material is re required for the time at the time of attending the class at the time of reading. Otherwise, I always show you the reading material. So even if you don't take even a single printout, it is good enough. Your notebook in which you take down the notes during the lecture, that is going to be something vital. So when you attend the lectures, you prepare the notes and those are the ultimate notes which you need to refer for exam as well as for viva and you will need those notes even for later in your career as a customs broker so different names are given so it may be referred as a customs broker or cha or cblr exam or regulation 6 exam prior to 2013 the person was referred as a cha and after that it is referred as a customs broker that is the only difference and the regulation under which exam is called that is called cblr regulation so customs broker licensing regulations 2018 okay and exam is conducted under regulation 6 of that exam that's why it is also called as a regulation 6 exam so friends any information required i've given you everything about what is going to be in this batch 
when it is starting 12th of december 22 when it is ending 5th of march lecture time 2 hours every day monday to friday timing is 7:30 to 9:30 saturday off sunday test and from 15th of february onwards till 15th of march every day there will be full syllabus questions of of 150 questions study material i will provide you in soft copy lecture access video will be uploaded on the same day in the application and this is available for unlimited number of viewings till 30th of june and for any doubt any question i am always accessible to you on one to one basis for any further information these two numbers call any time and the call will be attended by chance if the call is not attended drop a whatsapp message and it is my responsibility and my team's responsibility to revert to you thank you very much